Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we're going to check out a library called React Query. So, React Query is a library that lets you manage state and data in your application really easily. It takes off all the pain that is involved in managing your data. So, let's say for example, you need to get some data from some API. So, what you would usually do is you would write a function to get data and you would push the data that you got from that function into some sort of local state like your use state hook or Redux. So with React Query, you can eliminate all this manual logic that you write to push data and to maintain it. And also the next big thing is it also takes care of caching. So caching, if you would write it manually, would be a huge pain. It would take a lot of time but React Query takes care of all this uh, inside inside the box, so it takes care of all this. So in this video, we're not going to like deep dive into this. I'm just going to uh, try out one hook that he, that he gives that uh, they give uh, called uh, Use Query. So we're going to use that, and uh, we're going to get some data from a Open API that uh, Open API, and just see how this works. So this is not going to be a deep dive, just to like uh, using this one hook and see how this goes. So first I'm going to import use query. I don't know the spelling for this, so from React query use query, right? So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this hook to get data. Right, so let's do that. Uh, so const is the hook getting some sort of data. So use query. And uh, so use query, the first argument, the first thing that you need to give this uh, query is some sort of a key. Uh, I'm just going to call this data. So it uses this key to like map its uh, caching logic. Uh, that all happens internally. So and then next we have our function that uh, gets the data from the API. So this will be a. Uh, I'm, I'm going to use the fetch, and then I have a API with me that kind of gets all information about cats. Just some random open API that I found on the internet. So it's uh, and then I think it's fact fay ct dot gro heroku app dot com slash ct facts right uh, and then uh, we have our promise dot then it returns a response and then just return this as a JSON right so that's all there is and then let's just console log this data and see what happens data right so in this application if we see the console log we get the data so we get a bunch of information with this use query so we get a loading state so it tells if the API is fetching or not we get an error and then we also get the data right from this step. so if you had to do this manually if you had to push this data manually into your Redux store you need to like handle all this logic by yourself you need to like manually set if it's loading or not you need to manually set if it's if some sort of error has occurred but React create takes care of all this so let us kind of like uh, get only the stuff that we want so we just want loading and we want data for now right and let us see what happens so I get some sort of native code Right, okay. Okay, so let us try to just uh, print this data. 
uh, it's like if I'm just going to use this loading state to just print out a loading uh, placeholder and then uh, if the data is present I'm going to like map this uh, I think it's all I have seen this API before so I know it's like all the data is in this all key item dot text let's see if we get something data at all is not a function I think something's wrong with this dot json yeah the problem is I didn't call out this json okay, let us look at the so we get the data so we get uh, the all key and we have all the uh, data inside this uh, but let's see uh, what I get the error data dot all is not a function yes it makes sense because you need to map this boy how can I be so stupid yes so now we get all the data so the thing is we got the data and we also handle loading state using the use query hook from react query so this is how simple it becomes so let us say I have a button and I only need to like fetch the data when I click the button so this requests a bit of modification so first I'm going to have a button to And then I'm gonna have a button inside this so that I just have this in a separate line to get data. Right? And then what we're gonna do is this use query gives this function called refetch that basically manually fetches the data on click. I'm just going to call the refetch. And then next I need to give this some sort of configuration. Right, so it's here. So what I'm going to have is I'm going to have a key called manual a in in u a o as true, and then I'm going to have initial data as this all is as empty. So initially it will be empty, and only when I like click the button it fetches the data. So when I oh boy. Okay, so when I click, it gets the data. So this is kind of a like brief scraping of what React Query can do, how powerful it is, and how much it can save time. So uh, I would like highly recommend you to like dig deep into this. And even I will be posting a lot of videos related to React Query. I'm going to like check out each and every function that they give and kind of implement it and see what happens. So yeah, I hope you like. Uh, uh, learn something from this. Hope you found this useful. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.